Life was brilliant. You don't realise what life you have and how brilliant it is until it crashes down. It was just amazing. It was just, I couldn't have wished for a better dad. He would have done absolutely anything for anyone and he was so genuine. He was the nicest man you'd meet. I just miss him. 10th of June 2014, I had to rush into A&E because we were in so much pain. Um, and the day after we spoke with his um, nurse, his oncologist, and we was told that the cancer were back, melanoma cancer, on the 31st of July. It had the last CT scan the week before, and it has shown that at this point it had then gone to his brain. So it was a 0.5 centimetre tumour to his brain. And at that point, that's when it became terminal. That just changed our lives completely. Um, from that day on the 31st of July when they told us that it were had gone to his brain, that's when Darren struggled because he were all right with dealing with it. They were his words, he could deal with it until he knew it had gone to his brain. St Luke's got involved around July 2015 because we knew it had got worse and his sickness were getting worse because the treatment had stopped working. And that's at the point where rapid response came out we kind of took over the reins with, with, with Darren and, and, and Claire was able to call us and I knew that if I came in in the morning to a voicemail message from Claire where things weren't going so well, that it wasn't something that we could park for a couple of days. You know, we needed to go and see him there and then. So the Rapid Response Team is a part of the St Luke's community team and we're a team of nurses and doctors. We see patients in their own home and it's usually patients that have been referred through to us urgently but uh, patients that want to stay at home and want to die at home so we see them in their own home environment. Darren was um, a really keen cyclist and he really wanted to live his life and carry on training but due to the nature of his illness he just wasn't able to and I think he found just generally being unwell really really frustrating. And I think he kind of put a bit of a brave face on it a lot of the time. So I initially went over there as a man to talk bloke on bloke about things. But the bigger picture was is that he had a young family and a wife that was, you know, wanting to do the very best for him and wanted to continue sort of home care as long as possible. But no one gets an instruction manual when people are ill. No one knows what the right thing to do is, what people shouldn't do. And I felt that what I could do was make sure that you know, 24 hours a day, if Darren had a problem at home, that he could call somebody. The rapid response team can make a huge difference to families. Being in hospital and being in um, a foreign environment can be very stressful. And people can feel like they have no control over that when their loved one is dying. Apart from the medication side and the practical side of it, there's also that emotional support of just having the reassurance of somebody there that you're not alone. There's, there's nobody else out there that can be contacted or called if people are in dire straits with a palliative illness. The rapid response team are so valuable for the fact that you know that you've got that one person to turn to. The whole family had Dave. He didn't just come and go and he'd be there for each and every one of us, not just Darren, he was there for the whole family. When he was really, really poorly, it was still nice and relaxed, even though he was in a hospital bed in his own home, it was still nice and peaceful that he was at home with us and that we could enjoy his last time that we had with him. I was so pleased that with the way that they looked after him, I couldn't have wished for better nurses to have looked after him. St Luke's is the only provider of community palliative care in Sheffield. The more you give, the more people of Sheffield we can reach when they need us most. Thank you.